Good morning and welcome to worship on this feast day of the baptism of our Lord. Weather permitting, outdoor services of Holy Communion are held each Sunday at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. in the parking lot with worshipers remaining in their vehicles listening on the radio. To make reservations for those brief services, please go to holytrinitylynchburg.org or contact the church office. Let us now prepare our hearts and minds for worship during the prelude.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By water and your word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life, and above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus the Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Father in heaven, at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Make all who are baptized into Christ faithful in their calling to be your children and inheritors with him of everlasting life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We are very pleased to welcome into our fellowship today Jim Bost. Jim, we rejoice to receive you, a member of the One Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, into our fellowship in the gospel here at Holy Trinity. You have made public profession of your faith. Do you continue to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear his word and share in his supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of our Lord Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? If so, please answer, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. Yes. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, through water and the Spirit, you have made Jim your own. You forgave him all his sins and brought him to newness of life. Continue to strengthen him with the Holy Spirit and daily increase in him your gifts of grace 
the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jim, on behalf of the congregation, we are so pleased to welcome you, and we look forward to our partnership in the gospel together. Welcome. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit." In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased." The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. One of the things in life that we all share in common is water. Water is a precious gift of the earth. Without water, we cannot live. In the waters of our mother's womb, each of us grew and developed into the creatures that we are. Our birth into the world was preceded by the breaking of those waters. Water nourishes and sustains life. Water refreshes, soothes, and cleanses us. Water is the ordinary stuff that connects us all. We are intimately related by our relationship to water. Today, on this feast day of the baptism of our Lord, Water is front and center as Jesus of Nazareth makes his way to the River Jordan where John the baptizer is exhorting people to repent and be baptized. There, on the border between the wilderness and the land of milk and honey, John declares that he is not worthy to serve even in a lowly manner the one who will bring a new baptism, a baptism with the Holy Spirit. When Jesus is baptized, the gospel writer paints a portrait of how nature itself is upended. The heavens are torn apart. All creation is altered. Out of that rupture comes the Holy Spirit in a form that is described as a dove. Our Lord is infused with the Spirit of God, giving him the gift of self-giving love, along with a vocation, a ministry, a mission in the world. You are my Son, the Beloved, a voice proclaims. With you I am well pleased. In this moment, Jesus of Nazareth is commissioned to go forth to preach, to teach, to heal, to comfort, and to love unconditionally the world that God loves so very much. A radical identity and mission 
that will get him killed. In the waters of holy baptism, we too are claimed and named by God and sent out into the world. We too are set apart as beloved children of God. Our baptism, like the baptism of our Lord, calls and empowers and sends us into ministry in the world as the Holy Spirit fills us with self-giving love for God and others. Water marks our birth into the community that seeks to follow the path that Jesus embodied, a self-giving community that, that gives itself away as bread for the hungry, a community that lives in solidarity with the poor, the oppressed, and the marginalized. A community that works for peace through justice, rejecting violence, revenge, and hatred. A community that strives to embody God's love for those who hunger for love and acceptance and grace. A community that strives to be love in the world so that the love that is God is made visible. There's a legend about how Martin Luther would splash water on his face three times every morning while speaking the Trinitarian words that are said at baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The feeling of the cold, cleansing water running down his face reminded Luther who he was. The water was a visible means of Luther's identity as a child of God. When times were tough and the challenges many, he took great comfort in that God-given identity, saying, baptism is not a work that we do, but a treasure that God gives us and faith grasps. In baptism, therefore, every Christian has enough to study and practice all his or her life. Thus, we must regard baptism and put it to use in such a way that we may draw strength and comfort from it when our sins or conscience oppress us and say, but I am baptized. And if I have been baptized, I have the promise that I shall be saved and have eternal life both in soul and body. That is the promise, the identity that can sustain our hope in these very difficult times in which we are living. Our nation is suffering an acute identity crisis, and so is Christianity when we witness Jesus flags being waved in a violent, hate-filled, idolatrous, and deadly assault on our nation's capital. Really? In the name of the Prince of Peace? In the name of our Lord who was executed on a cross by the brutal power of the Roman Empire? Really? We are intimately connected by water to all of life and to one another in all of the human community. So what does it mean for us to be baptized children of God? How do we live out our God-given identity? Much hangs in the balance of how we answer. Much responsibility comes with the gift of that identity. We know all too well that we regularly fall short of God's desire for us and how we regard and treat each other. Yet, by grace, 
We are still God's beloved children, which grants us the grace and gives us the strength to try again to be more faithful each and every day. In our human sinfulness and brokenness, the waters of baptism promise us that there is nothing that can separate us from the love that is God. We humans tend to need visible signs, signs that remind us of who we are, signs to remind us to look beyond ourselves, signs to help us be the beloved children with whom our loving God is well pleased. Holy baptism is one of those signs as the water reminds us who and whose we are, as it refreshes and nourishes our call to be love in the world. Amen. Guided by the Christ made known to the nations, let us offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all people in need. For the church throughout the world, that the Holy Spirit empower all the faithful for lives of service. For the waters of the earth, that God's goodness be revealed through creation, and that we care for all that God has made for the nations of the world and their leaders, for the United States in the midst of civil unrest and turmoil, for our elected leaders and their families, for police officers, for peacemakers, and for the health of relationships with other nations, that God fill us with courage and strength for these days. For our nation, for those lured by hatred and violence, for all dealing with new and lasting trauma, for prophets who proclaim uncomfortable truths, that as God's beloved creation, all people may work for the harmonious well-being of others. For all who are in trouble, want, or sickness, for the countless who are suffering with COVID-19, for medical workers, for people who are hungry or homeless, imprisoned or lonely, that God grant health and wholeness to a world so filled with pain. In gratitude for our beloved dead, we offer our praise for all the baptized who have accompanied us and supported us and taught us throughout our days, 
that at our end we join with them in everlasting joy. Almighty and merciful God, you are the mighty voice from heaven. You are our beloved Savior. You are the descending dove. Hear the prayers of your people, spoken or silent, for the sake of the one who dwells among us, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together as we have been taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Our service now begins. Go in peace, be the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. who died this past week. We give thanks for his life and his witness as we keep his family in our prayers this day. <laughs> 